Welcome back. I was watching a movie with the kids last weekend. It's called The Golden Compass. And in it, there's a scene where they have this little car and where the motor's supposed to be is this gyro thing. And I saw that and I thought, that's cool. So this is, it's kind of like an armillary, but they're a lot more elaborate and they're used for tracking constellations and stuff. But I got to incorporate that little gyro thing in there. And I used skateboard bearings for the inside of it. I'm doing a long version. I'll have it up probably by the end of the weekend if you want to get a little more in depth on, on all the little details but let's go ahead and get started. The wood shop is sponsored by Robust Lathes, Easy Wood Tools, and Chefware Kits. I'm starting out with a 12 inch by 2 inch thick piece of walnut and just trimming it up with the round carbide cutter. When you're coming in from the face here with a parting tool like this, you need to be really careful. You need to open that channel up. The tool will bind if it doesn't have room to work. So I'm just going in eighth of an inch, I move over eighth of an inch on the other side so that it has that channel all the way down. So I'm just going down to my final depth, which is about inch and a half. And then I'll move around to the side of it here. And I'm not gonna cut all the way through because if it snaps off there, you could break it. So I'm just coming in to right before it cuts free, and then I'm gonna hand saw it off. I'm using a flush saw to part it off the rest of the way. So I have the lathe in reverse, so the tool's trying to be pulled away from me, and I have it slowed down to 50 RPMs, and right before it comes off, I'll just hand saw the rest of it. I'm gonna cut some spacer pieces for each disc, that way it stands off from the chuck a little bit and I have some room to sand. I picked up a pack of skateboard bearings and I got a free sticker. So I'm gonna do the same thing on all three rings that turn. I'm gonna countersink the bearings in it and then use the indexer and turn around and do it on the opposite side. They're all same process on all of them except for this diameter. I'm working on the sphere now. The final size on this is going to be five and a half. So it's pretty out of balance. I'm coming in from the end with a bowl gouge to true it up. And I'll just give it its basic shape and then pull it out of the chuck and use two jam chucks to hold it together and turn the tenon off. And then do final sanding with the vacuum chuck. It works out really nice. You can just keep rotating it around and sanding it as you go. I pulled the tip out of my live center and I'm going to use a lamp auger to run a hole all the way through the spear.
Okay, I'm going to start assembling this part of it. So I have my hole drilled there. I've got the dowel all sanded down to the right size for the bearings. So what I did was I countersink for the bearings, but I didn't go all the way through. So what I need to do is get another little Forstner bit and drill down the size of the dowel here. So I'm going to do that. And the reason I didn't do it on the lathe is I want to put a piece of wood under there to support it so it doesn't chip it all out. And then I need to drill in the outer ring here where the base is going to go. I need to drill a hole just for the dowel at an angle. So I'm going to have that the arrow going through like that. Drilled one side there. So this will go through. I'm going to wait to drill the other side until I get it. I marked it over there, measured the distance on each side to make sure it was centered, but I'm going to wait on that one until I get the rings in. So I'm going to glue the bearings in now, and I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. Just a little teeny bit on the outside. This stuff expands, so I don't want to put very much on it. Well, the glue's dry and I'm gonna work on the base. So I want this thing pretty beefy. It's pretty tall and I don't want it to be tippy. So it's eight inches around and two inches thick. And then for the spindle part of it, I'm gonna use maple on that. And it's five inches tall and three and a half inches around. Like I said, I'll put a long version up on the Q&A channel. The link's right there if you want to subscribe to that and want some more detail on this. The overall height is 19 inches and from the tips of the arrows, 24. And on those, I just cut them out on the bandsaw and carved them. But if you check out the long version, I'll show you how I did all that and set all the bearings. When I was doing a little bit of research too, I saw somewhere you can, you don't have to run the arrow all the way through them. You set different points on these. So the, points on this and on this so they're all spinning in different directions so that might be kind of cool to play around with it too but it was I had a lot of fun with it it's kind of neat yeah all right if this is your first time here I have a new project video every Friday I hope to see you there and if you haven't done so yet 
please subscribe. Take care.